Today we're going to be doing a little bit of math, uh, some cognitive skills, some cognitive developmental skills, and uh, there are several things in early math that people that uh, do my work usually know about, such as numbers, counting and cardinality, uh, terms such as subitizing, <laughs> and uh, I'll just be going over some of those things that we usually work with young kids with. Identify numbers, all right? Mm -hmm. So they are going to identify the, the written numbers. What number is this? Nine. How about like this? Six. Six? Excellent job. Oh, Bailey. Oh, you're, don't worry, I'm going to ask you first. Eight. Eight. Excellent job. <coughs> Four. Four. Beautiful. Three. Three. Excellent. Remember? Third. She's helping you. <laughs> Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Twenty. Twenty? Let's look at it again. Twenty. Mm -mm. That's two and zero. Twenty. This is twa. With the with the V sound. What? Twelve. 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 Say twelve. Twelve. Excellent. Here at Little Scholars, we try to help children learn math, and which is great for their cognitive skills, their spatial awareness. This is particularly true with shapes. Uh, they can understand quantities and numbers and correlating numerical, the written num numerals with a specific quantity. They learn to count in cardinality, and they learn to count with a one-to-one -one correspondent. And they do this in with the spirit of fun and, and with games and toys and, and cards and in groups <sighs> with children their age. Hilarious. They learn to subitize with any game that they like. So if they like superheroes, I'm using superheroes. If they like blocks, I'm using blocks. Puzzles, I'm using puzzles. Whatever they like, movement, activities, what have you. Math is in everything and it's it's all everywhere. So you can use anything you like at home. Don't feel the need to buy toys. Just use the cups at, at your dinner table. How many cups do we need? Two people are here. How many cups do we need? How many cups would we need for a picnic or what have you? So uh, definitely don't stress yourself out. Math is everywhere and in everything. And I see it too. And uh, enjoy and have fun. This is what we believe here at Little Scholars. The reason why this particular activity is great is because the objects are different sizes. So if you're using uh, different objects and you're asking the children to count, this will help them understand that just because something is bigger, that doesn't mean it's more things. So I still have three elephants. That's right. Uh, because because there is one, two, three. Not because this one is bigger, it's two or something like that. So a lot of children will think that just be, if you have more or bigger elephants, that means you have more. Where uh, they will count the lesser or the smaller elephants as less, just because they're smaller. And so you help them understand that it doesn't really matter if they're big or small, as long as it's one particular piece that you can pick up as one, then it's one. And it helps them uh, disassociate size with quantity. The baby ones go with the babies. Aw, that's so cute. Mm. Wait, what that's the one here? What nope, that's a medium elephant. That's... We did it! Yeah, oh, yeah. Make, it, it, oh, yeah, yeah. Right oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this game is a, essentially a lot game. And then they're going to count the number of... Uh, dots here, so they'll say one, two, three, four, five, and then they'll have to find the corresponding key. So this would be the number two when they try to open it. It's not going to open. They'll have to keep looking for the number two. This will relate the numerical number that's written to uh, the actual quantity, and this will help them also with their fine motor skills so that they can use their fingers and hands and so on. Look, it's open! The key. Excellent, you opened it. Let's try another one for you. This one is open. We'll put it to the side. Yay. You can keep the ones that you, you finished. Oh, really? I opened this one. I opened we this can, one. Like, make I opened a How game. many did you open? I opened one, two, three, four. Excellent job. All right, so now we're going to do a sorting game. Sorting games are part of math skills because they're positive. And you have to, wait, 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 let me, let me finish. And you have to categorize in your in your brain which color goes with which, or maybe animals. You can categorize animals as well. Anything that deals with categorizing is usually a mathematical skill. Okay, we have the little ducks. We have the mommy ducks and the baby ducks, and they're different colors. And we're going to try to sort them. Or put them in the correct place, okay? Okay. Let's do it. There 
One, two, three. Who has more babies, the purple mommy or the green mommy? The purple. I have a whole baby chick. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm not going to eat them. One, two, three, because she has one, two, three, four. And the red mommy has one, two, three. I, I both more. have four. Both of them have four? So what what is that called? Uh, equal. Equal. Excellent job. That's equal. This uh, toy is a dinosaur toy, which makes it more enticing for children to play with. And they are different colors, so you can review colors with your we children. Can help them and fight. it also has the number on it, we as well as, as you have to hook it up with the correct amount. So let's take them out, shall we? Yeah. I forgot his name. I got three. Oh, my goodness, you got so many of them. All right, now we're going to start with this game. Have you seen this game before? Nope. You've never seen this game before? Nope. 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 My goodness. All right, well, this number has uh, wooden blocks. You see? And they're excellent for supervising skills, which means to be able to see numbers without having to count them individually. So this, I would see that it's five just from those uh, holes the way that it is. All right. We're going to use these red cylinder columns and we're going to put them here. And we're going to try to count each one, right? This is going to be counting with a one-to-one -one correspondent. And this is going to help them so that they do not skip count. Uh, so like they'll go one, two, five, six, seven, for example. Or they won't double count the same number. And this will help them just kind of organize those uh, quantities. So instead of just focusing on what the number is and what the number looks like, but also cor correlate it with an actual quantity. Okay, guys. Thumbs up. Oh, and then, I can. I don't know if it, oh look at that. You're lucky. Okay, go ahead. Take your cylinder columns and your number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten. Good. Can you count for me with your finger though? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and eleven. Nope. Try again. We'll try together. So you'll use your hand and then you'll go up hey, hand to six. hand. Excellent job. Let's do one. One. I got two, six, two. Four, five, six, seven. Thank you.